okay dear students so this was the last example that i have taken for the principle of mathematical induction and i think uh, not much is left beyond it a couple of uh, more examples you might be suggesting me later that okay this example is left or that example is left but i think overall the complete principle of mathematical induction has been completed now so there are two parts for the mathematical induction number one is step one step two and step three when we are formulating things and then another thing is step number four that we are doing arithmetical operation or the trigonometric operation operations on our equation so that we are able to prove left hand side is equal to right hand side so overall this is the chapter of principle of mathematical induction i hope uh, this chapter will be pretty clear to you people now even now if you people have some problem you can talk to me you can message me even if you find some particular question that you want me to do you can just uh, send the screenshot for that on discord or on um, whatsapp if you're which, whichever app you're using okay okay dear students so this is professor varun all the best